So as we're seeing more and more, and as Kaylin just reported, confidence in the U.S. system of government at its lowest point in 35 years, with just 26 percent of Americans saying they're optimistic about our government and how well it works. This according to a new ABC News Washington Post poll. So what does this all mean, particularly when looking ahead to an uncertain future? To help answer this question, I go to Austin, Texas, where radio host Alex Jones is. All right, Alex, you and I have spoken about this before, and here it is, these blaring numbers. Not since 1974 have people had this low of confidence in the system of government. Now, this is the year, remember, that President Nixon resigned, just after the most pop unpopular war, the Vietnam War. And here we are today. What do you think Americans are so worried about? Well, you notice the Tea Party's angry, and then you've also got the so-called left with the unions who are angry, but this is the wages of globalism. This has been the globalist plan. Wall Street financed John McCain. They financed Barack Obama. Barack Obama, run by Wall Street, openly has called for more taxes because they're going to transfer those taxes offshore to the big mega central banks that are represented here in the U.S., by the private Federal Reserve. And so what's going to happen is the government is going to use these giant hordes of people having their wages cut, losing their insurance, having their pension funds raided, loose upon what's left of the middle class, saying, give us a piece of the pie. They're going to take people who are making $100,000, $200,000. They're going to take their money, and then they're never really even going to get any of it, and it's going to go to the bankers. So this has all been very carefully orchestrated, and they've done this in third world nations and European nations over and over again. And so it's a, it, it's a very sophisticated issue, pressure from above and below. Instead of looking at the actual cause of this, we're looking at the symptoms. But this is NAFTA. This is GATT. This is deindustrialization. This is globalism. This is the out of control regulation, smothering jobs in North America and shipping them to the third world and developing countries uh, like China. If you don't write off, the 1.5 quadrillion in derivatives created by the big six megabanks uh, that we're paying most of our taxes to pay off that we don't owe, if we go the way of Greece and Ireland who have signed on to pay debts that the bankers have, then there's no way to get out of this. You could get rid of all the welfare. You could get rid of the union people. You could get rid of Social Security, and it would never pay off a fraction of the 1.5 quadrillion. The bankers engineered this to take the once most powerful, wealthy nation in the world and turn us into debt servants. So the Tea Party doesn't understand it fully. It's very complex. And the uh, mainline liberals out protesting, saying, give us more of the pie. The pie's been robbed. The bankers are the right target, the big central bankers, but you don't defeat them by raising taxes and handing out some more chicken feed. You defeat them by arresting them for the crimes they've committed and writing off their $1,500 trillion. You talk about this uh, large portions of the pie going to the bankers. There's also another place that a lot of the pie is going to, and that's the defense budget. Um, certainly in this poll, there was another set of questions that was asked of the people. Uh, these are questions related to the war in Afghanistan. Now, first of all, uh, the question, is the war worth fighting? 64% said no. And when asked whether or not President Obama should start pulling troops out this summer, as originally planned, 73 percent, that's almost three quarters of this country, say yes. So, Alex, who is right well, in just this case? A month. Who is sure, the government just... right or the people? Well, the people are right, and these wars are unconstitutional and illegal, so it's also illegal uh, what's happening. But uh, the, the polls you're citing are, are, quote, scientific. Other scientific polls show an 11 percent approval rating of Congress, uh, show over 80 percent wanting to end the war. They always say they're going to end the war in two years, and now they've announced in two more years. This is all a manipulation. It's all basically psychological warfare. And that's why the U.S. is becoming more authoritarian, because as it becomes evident that the people are being ignored, that we actually don't run this country, there's going to be resistance mounting, just like you see in the Middle East. And the government's answer is to clamp down. The John Warner Defense Authorization Act of 2007 states that the Pentagon is preparing for insurrection in the states and to suppress state governors and legislatures. We don't have a real government. We have a rogue government uh, that is basically looting this country. And until you get a real government back in place, 
Any reform will only be twisted into a scam to further vertically integrate wealth so Wall Street gets hundreds of billions in bonuses every year. Either those parasites go who are waging war on the real economy or there's no end in sight. Things are only going to get worse on this journey towards an Orwellian nightmare. It seems like what you're saying, Alex, it all sort of circles back to the same place every time. Uh, you were talking about unrest in the Middle East. We've also seen a little bit of it uh, here in this country. We certainly saw it in Wisconsin. Uh, we just saw a report Kaylin showed us. We're seeing some of it here. Uh, do you think this is perhaps the start of something bigger? Oh, undoubtedly. The Pentagon four years ago put out public reports preparing for martial law and civil unrest, uh, but, but, but not pointing out what had triggered it, the food prices, the commodities, the dollar devaluation, British Ministry of Defense four years ago as well. This has all been planned out. I've been to urban warfare drills in the last decade where they have role players saying, I'm an American, don't take my guns, don't put me in a camp. It's in my film, Police Day 2000, free on the web. They have been preparing this. The RAND Corporation has written up the plans. Uh, this is economic conquest by the offshore private banks against the entire world. We need to do what Russia did and kick out the oligarchs and arrest them instead of letting them fully rob us. I think it's interesting that you brought up the food prices, too. This is certainly something that's very current. Uh, we're getting new numbers out. These prices continue to rise, and that certainly uh, is going to be passed on to those consumers. What do you think? I mean, uh, there's talk of inflation. There's talk of different things. But just this growing number of hungry people in America, talk about that as it relates to this frustration with the system. Well, as you know, in, in places like Egypt, half the population makes $2 or less a day. Uh, and here in this nation, our poor uh, spend inordinate amounts of their money on basic transportation and food. Uh, and as food prices uh, are the highest they've been uh, in the indexes since the early 1970s, uh, when people start losing everything and their bellies start getting empty, uh, they get desperate. And we now see reports that 43 states are technically bankrupt and the federal government's preparing to bail them out. Well, the federal government's even more uh, bankrupt statistically than Greece uh, or Ireland. And so, again, either we write off all this fraudulent debt, start over, make Wall Street take a severe haircut, or these greedy people are going to, like a horde of locusts, eat the, the meat off our bones and fly off to the next country. Uh, so it's just that simple. And, you know, Alex, we don't usually talk too much about um, major international issues, but I was on your website earlier on Prison Planet, and I saw that you had uh, written something about the Pentagon as it relates to the situation in Japan. Give us sort of your take just very briefly on what you see as happening here. Well, it's just like The Guardian reports today about robot fake social network systems pushing U.S. propaganda. No, it's bankers. And, and, and criminal corporations that have seized the U.S., it's their propaganda in America's name. Well, not in my name. And uh, it's, it's the same thing that you were just talking about. Uh, the CIA is on record over in Japan managing things for General Electric at the Fukushima uh, cataclysm uh, that's happened so they can keep building more of these dangerous uh, reactors all over the world because the CIA doesn't work for us. They work for Wall Street that created the CIA and that runs our nation. It's simple. America is not run by America. That's why it's gone from the light of liberty and admired in the example of human dignity and freedom to the example of the evil empire. So just as the Soviet empire was an evil empire and Ronald Reagan called it out, this empire is even bigger and badder and more scientific and it goes down or we all go down with it. We don't have a choice. It's us or them. Choose sides. We're at the historic crossroads right now. All right, Alex Jones, radio host of The Alex Jones Show, joining us from Austin. Thank you.